Hi guys, this is Naturalist Shannon, and I wanted to show you the four stages of the monarch, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly, and the egg. So let's take a close look. This is an animal that goes through a complete metamorphosis, meaning that it goes through all four stages of development. Uh, we will start with the adult. So this is a monarch butterfly who has completed his life cycle. I know that it's a male because he has those little black dots there. The females do not have those. So the butterfly will mate and the female will lay eggs. And this is what the egg looks like. Little teeny tiny. Can you see it? Sort of shaped like a football. It's right there. It only lays eggs on milkweed plants. So this is a milkweed leaf. They have kind of a hard time finding milkweed, which is one of the reasons that their population is not as strong as it used to be. Eventually, the egg will hatch, usually in about three to five days or so, and we end up with some caterpillars. So here is a itsy bitsy baby caterpillar. There's another one. These guys hatched just a day or two ago. And then as they grow, they get to be considerably bigger. So this is a caterpillar who is probably about two weeks old. We'll be getting ready to pupate or make its chrysalis soon. Um, he's protecting himself right now. So he's curled himself up into a ball. He also has warning colors. So those yellow and black stripes are warning to potential predators. They say, I do not taste good. I taste horrible. And I might make you sick if you were to eat me. Another thing that you can kind of see on this little guy do you see how he has tentacles on the front and on the back? There we go. That's a way that he protects himself too, because if you were a predator and you were looking for a meal, predators like to sneak up on their prey from behind. If you can't tell which end is the head and which end is the rear end, you might just pass that guy by. So if you take a really close look, you'll notice the tentacles on the front end over here are a little bit longer so if you just take a really close look you can tell but if you were a bird flying by you might not even take that time to see that those are the longer ones you just pass them on by and keep looking for a different meal plus usually animals that eat a monarch caterpillar only do it once because they realize it tastes horrible and it kind of makes their stomach hurt so there's that caterpillar the next thing that will happen is the caterpillar will make a chrysalis. So this is a chrysalis that already eclosed or emerged. Some things I want you to notice on here. I'm holding it by a little bit of silk. This is the same kind of stuff that spider webs are made out of. It's silky and it's really sticky. It will attach to pretty much anything that the caterpillar puts it on. Then this is kind of the shell of the chrysalis, what's left after the animal um, it closes or emerges from it. So you'll notice that it's clear. This is pretty cool because right before the butterfly ecloses, you can actually see the pattern of the wings on the chrysalis itself. So that's a, a hint that you know that your butterfly is getting ready to come out of its chrysalis. Thanks for joining me today.